All right, so now I want to look at how to basically read or import an R file in Python using Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, we have to install the PyReader, right? PyReadR um, library. So this is a code of line to basically um, install this library. So I've already done this, so I don't need to do it again. So I'm going to comment on that. Right. Then you have to load the PyRead R library by making use of import PyRead R as PR. This is just an abbreviation for PyRead R. You can change it if you want. Right. So let's run this. Okay. So once we have load this library, we can now load our data set. So we want to load data set. Um, so I'm going to say load R, right? That's the name that I want to give to this data set. And I'm going to say pi R, right? Read underscore R. That's a function for reading R file. So the name is um, data, right? Dot R data. And this data file should be in your current working directory. So if I move to my folder where i have the python source file you can see that i have this r data in there so it should be in the same current working directory right okay so now we can proceed so once we have done this let's run this code of line okay so this is to load but first of all with our data um you have to check um the name of the data file so um, we are going to make use of a different function. So let's say load r dot keys. Right. We want to look at um, the name that was the name of the data set that was stored. So we just have to run this code of line to make sure that we get the right name. So let's see. So the name of the data is my dat. Right. So to be able to um, basically extract this we have to extract this from load r right it is installed here so um, in order to um, see or view our data set you have to use mine that instead of load r right so we want a name let's say there's going to be r data all right we want to assign my mind that that's the name although but we want to assign it to r data so um, how do we extract that from load r so we use a square bracket and in quotation we have mind that so this is to extract the data file which was installed as our data so that we can actually make use of it so let's run this okay so now let's look at the head want to view the first five observations so our data dot so shift enter here we go so we can see the first five observations right right so if you were to run load r you wouldn't see that because the name of data is mind that right so this is how you extract it by using this code of line to extract the real name of it close this right so um let's look at the last five observations so to view the last LST, so change this to tail. All right, so here we go. All right, then now to look at the structure of data set. So I'm gonna say our data um, dot info. Shift enter, and here we go. So we have 30 entries from 0 to 29, which is basically 30 rows, and we have data columns to be 3. The first one is gender, right, which has an index of 0. The, object, the data type is an object, which is basically a character or a string. And H has an index of 1. The data type is an integer. Height has an, an index of 2, with the um, data type being float, which is basically numeric, right? So this is how to basically import or read and our data file in Python using Jupyter Notebook.